Hello, in this video we're going to show you how to set up the Cocos Code ID version 2 for Mac. There's a few things that you need to download. There's Cocos Code ID, obviously. There's Android SDK, Android NDK, Apache Ant, Cocos 2DX or Cocos 2DJS and the JDK. Obviously you can omit the Android stuff if you're not dealing with Android, but we're going to show you everything. So first of all, just go to the Cocos 2DX website then click on the download button and scroll down to the Cocos, I mean code ID section just download the version that, you're, that you need for your OS so we're on a Mac so you just click this and download it or download a .dmg file already got it so don't really need it the next thing that you're going to need is the Android SDK and the Android SDK is going to here Oh, sorry, forgot because Android Studios out, they don't have the Android SDK. But if I go on to our education platform, Sonar Learning, and just type in Android, there we go. Oop. AD, oopsie daisy, ADT with Eclipse download links. So this is basically what you want. So just download whatever version you need from here once you've downloaded that you want to go to the android ndk website and go to do, 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 downloads uh, no i mean ndk ndk documentation and downloads and from here you want to click on downloads and then from here you can just download the version that you need so if you're on Windows do Windows if you're on Mac use Mac it's pretty simple and then it just tells you how to extract it as well it's, it's that's basically all there is to it after that you need Apache Ant so just type in there to Google go to ant.apache.org Go to binary distribution, scroll down and just download the zip archive from there. The next thing you're going to need is Cocos 2DX or Cocos 2DJS itself. So go to downloads, download the Cocos 2DX or Cocos 2DJS. But instead of doing this, you can also have the Cocos software and download the framework version through their store. Either way will work. The next thing you need to download and the final thing is the JDK. So this is just the development kit. So go to the JDK website and download version 7. So just click on download. You scroll down, obviously just accept license agreement because obviously you will read it yourself clearly. And then just download the JDK that you need. So if you was for Mac, you'd be Mac. If you was for Windows, you would choose the windows version so once you've got all of that just extract everything and for cocos code id just open the dmg file and just install it's like any other application that you install on mac once you've done that actually open up cocos code id it uses the intellij id as its underlying core did i even click on it yes i did either way it's opening now and once it has opened, what we're going to do is just set everything up. Because you've downloaded everything, but not set it up. So click on Configure, go to Preferences, go to Other Settings, go to Cocos. Now for Python location, Mac already has Python, so you don't need to deal with that. And just leave it as default. For the SDK location, click Browse. And you want to go to wherever you've extracted it. Just make sure you just put it somewhere where you know it's generally going to stay so you don't have to keep changing this and now what you want to do is go to Coca, I mean Android ADT SDK click choose I'm going to go to NDK and same for this just put it somewhere that you can sort of designate as the download directory for these development tools so go to NDK click choose go to where your Apache Ant is extracted, Apache Ant, click bin, click choose. For the JDK, you can install that. Once you've installed that, again, it's just pretty simple to install it. Just leave this as default for slash USR, aka user for slash bin. It will work like that. 
go to Cocos Framework. So from here, you can either choose Framework Mode. Again, this will be using the Cocos software, which is has this icon right here, and that's downloaded from the Cocos store. It picks up everything that you've downloaded. Or you can do Engine Mode. It's going to show you Engine Mode, so click Browse for Lua, and that would be Cocos 2DX. So go to Development or wherever you put it. Click choose and for JavaScript is Cocos 2D JS. So go to wherever you've extracted Cocos 2D JS. Click choose, click apply, click OK. Let's go back to it just to make sure it's all good. So Cocos, that looks a okay. Go to Cocos Framework again, that looks a okay. So that is the Cocos Code IDE version 2 setup for Mac. There will be a separate video covering how to actually generate a project and also a separate video covering how to set up the IDE in Windows. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions.php. There'll be a link in the description. Please rate and subscribe as it does really help keep the content free. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.